Hello, Almost Daily Devotional friends. This is the Almost Daily Devotional for Monday, the 17th of August. Just back from a Sunday morning walk, which is what I do now. Strange. <clears throat> Giles Frazier, who is an Englishman, he's a ordained fella and a writer, um, uses the term crisis of capacity great term to describe our response to moral imperative. In other words, well-meaning people want to do good to help others, um, want to rectify societal wrongs, want to just be good people, um, but often feel overwhelmed by the enormity of the need and the paucity of our ability to meet that need. Hence, we find ourselves in a crisis of capacity. We just can't do what we want to do or what is asked of us. Now, Jesus makes things worse. His moral imperatives just make things worse. Take his command to the rich young ruler when he says, if you would like to be perfect, then go sell everything you have and give it to the poor. And if that doesn't throw you into a crisis of capacity, then how about um, the, the moral denouement from the... Sermon on the Mount, where he says, be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now, theologically speaking, crisis of capacity is a good thing because it drives us to our Savior. It drives us to the gospel. We cannot fulfill the law. Only one person had infinite capacity for good, and he fulfilled the law for us, the one that told us to be perfect as our heavenly Father is perfect. So here's the caveat, I mean, here's the prayer for, um, of the week, the collect of the week of, from yesterday. But with a kind of a caveat as you pray it, um, while God has prepared the good works for us to walk in, it's better to focus on, in the prayer, the first part, the sacrifice of sin, rather than trying to follow the example of the godly life, of his godly life, Jesus's. In fact, Thankfully, receiving the fruits of his redeeming work, which we'll pray, will make our good works flow more easily and more authentically. So let's pray that prayer. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive, thankfully, the fruits of his redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. See you tomorrow.